Hello, Happy New Year. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and New Year wherever you are in the world. So I'm talking to you live today, uh, well, in the present day. It's January 2021. Uh, I'm here in North London, in my home in England. It's freezing, freezing cold, middle of winter now. Uh, and I'm, I'm behind my lovely new motorbike, my Triumph 200 Bonneville. It's been my dream bike since I was a kid. Uh, and I finally treat myself. I thought, <laughs> I can't travel, so I might as well get my dream bike. So I've got it, it's amazing. Obviously this isn't the bike that I'm doing my trip on. That's the Honda CF250 that's stuck in Pakistan. Um, obviously I can't travel at the moment with everything going on, so I'm just waiting for the world to reopen so I can get back and finish my trip. I've still got a long, long way to go. Um, I, forget, I thought I might have been maybe halfway through my trip by now, or, or close to finishing. But um, no, I'm still, I'm still only made it to Pakistan. It took me, what, a couple of years um, to get to the China-Pakistan border. Um, I thought I might be in Australia um, within two years, but no, <laughs> only made it to Pakistan because I fell in love with every place I went. It was just I decided not to rush the trip, I decided to take my time and just enjoy it and I'm so glad I did, so it's been an amazing experience. So at this rate, it'll probably be about 10 years before I make it around the world. Um, we shall see. But, um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little update on what's been going on. I think it's the first time I've ever talked to a camera on this channel, like, live um, or sort of up to date. Because um, all my videos have all been uh, in Pakistan, Iran, all the videos on my channel so far. Um, but, um, but yes, yeah, so this is me. This is, what, <laughs> this is what I look like now. I think I looked a bit more um, scruffy and ill and half asleep <laughs> on my trip because I was always, I was always exhausted or had food poisoning or whatever. So um, anyway, yeah, I thought I'd give you a little, um, a little sort of disclaimer before this video starts. Um, basically, just warning you that this video you're about to watch is the most boring video ever. Um, so I literally just watched it and I was, I was literally falling asleep. Um, I think it's like 50 minutes long or so. Um, so if you want to start watching, then stop now because it's basically it's all about what's in the pannier, the left pannier of my motorbike. Um, because I'm doing a video series at the moment about what's in my bike. Because people have been asking me for many years now to do a little overview of what, what gear I carry. You know, camping gear, electronics, camera gear, what modifications I did to the bike, all these kind of things. What luggage system I use. Um, so the first part was about the bike, I think part two was about the panniers, and yeah, soft hard luggage debate, you know, what, what about that? Um, and part three, which I think is this one, is all about uh, the camping gear I use and what I've got in the left pannier. So if you want to find out what camping gear I use and what's in the pannier, then keep watching. If not, then skip this in um, and keep watching whatever you're watching before. But um, yeah, I think it's like 15 minutes long, it'll probably be even longer now if I, if I chuck this little intro at the start of it. Um, I've tried to throw in a few little extra little clips as well um, to make it a bit more interesting, but it's you know it's not the best. But the other parts, after I think part four, part five, are a lot more interesting with more um, video footage from my trip um, and whatnot. And I think uh, to make it more exciting, at the end of this video, I'll throw in a little um, a little clip of me being terrified in my tent <laughs> in Albania when I woke up in the morning and I was surrounded by wild dogs. And I think in the middle of the night, I got woken up by some wolves that were circling my tent. Um, that was quite funny as well, but, um, but yeah, so anyway, if you want to watch this, then feel free to keep watching. If not, then I thought I'd save you, uh, I thought I'd be nice and save you 50 minutes of your life that you'll never get back. Um, so, <laughs> there we go. But um, anyway, I hope you're all well. Um, Happy New Year to you all, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, ride safe. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Okay, I've turned the bike around so I can show you what is in this left pannier. This is my tent. That is my tent, right? And this is my sleeping bag. So I can literally hold my house. Look, this is my house. This is all I need. Air mattress, footprint for the tent, tent, and sleeping bag. Look how small it all is. It is unbelievable. So, in the lid, I have this. This has got all my documents, my carnet, 
the insurance papers, everything that's important, I keep in the lid in here. Including, also, we'll get into this later, but also you see here, the tent poles. I split out the tent, so the poles go in here, and it means I can compress the tent down a lot smaller. So I'm trying to make use of every little thing. Put this back in, and you just have these little clips, whatever these are called, to hold it in place. So at the top of the pannier, I have all the stuff I need for filming on the go. So my tripod, which I'm using right now, that is laying on the top, as is my selfie stick, which I rarely ever use. Uh, this is a little mini tripod for getting a second shot if I have two cameras running at once. This is the mount. If I don't use a Sony camera, I can use the iPhone. And this mounts onto all my tripods so I can use my iPhone for filming. Right, then we get onto this. This is the first aid cooking kit. You can see because it says it's all written down. So I guess I'll show you what's inside. All right. So opening it up. Out the top, I've got my tea towel, my wet wipes just for washing up and cleaning all the dishes afterwards. Then, this is my stove. This is the Primus OmniFuel. Uh, on the back of the bike, you can see this little fuel canister there. That is for, just for the stove. So it's the OmniFuel, so it uses the, the fuel from the bike, any gas station. Um, and you haven't got to faff around with cylinders or anything, or gas cylinders, you can just use the same fuel you use for the engine. Uh, that's it. So this connects to this piece here, which goes inside and then you got fire. The whole stove is, it should caught fire. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be like that. There should be like a reservoir at the bottom. Now is there just a re reservoir at the bottom? Like it should just die out because that's off and that's off. Is that off as well, on the little thing, on that, that one? Yeah, because this is... <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's that, then you've got this is my pot. When I left England, I had like four or five pots and pans. Don't know why. All you need is one pot, you can cook everything in this. I literally cook spaghetti carbonara all the time through Europe. Like, I was just so lazy. I used to love it, now I hate spaghetti carbonara because I had it so much. But it's easy in one pot, you just shove it all in. Then we've got, this is the handle, which connects on like this. There we go. Then we've got my little squash, thanks to Waitrose in England, where I used to work <laughs> for that little supply. Then I've got my cup, tiny little cup, that's all you need. And with my matches inside, just in case, why not? This is the metal sort of thing you put around the stove just to stop the wind from getting in. Uh, that's really useful as well. Then we've got my light it's for camping. I put this in my tent to give it, it sort of illuminates the whole tent up, that's fantastic. And then my first aid kit, which has got plasters, uh, just random medicines and stuff. I've hardly used this actually, which is quite a good sign. Yeah, and that's that, that is all that. Okay, let's put this, all this away. I'm not entirely sure now, think about it, why I've got the first aid kit with the cooking stuff, but oh well, it works for me. Okay, next up we have, this is the footprint for my tent. So the Laser Competition 2 Terra Nova footprint. That's this. This here is the Thermrest, my air mattress for sleeping on. Next up, we've got these two things. So this one, this tiny thing, look at that, that's my hand. This is my tent. That is my tent, right? And this is my sleeping bag. So I can literally hold my house. Look, this is my house, this is all I need. Air mattress, footprint for the tent, tent, and sleeping bag. Look! How small it all is. It is unbelievable. So that's why taking the poles out and putting them in the, the lid of the pannier. There we go. Epic. So that's all that. Then we've got my toolkit and like random spares for the bike. Uh, brake pads, filters, random stuff inside here. Okay, inside here we've got this is for taking out the spark plug. This is my mini Baco uh, set. Oh, I love this thing, this is awesome. Here's my spare brake pads. Here's spare, I don't know, random little fuses and uh, Loctite and stuff I keep in here. 
Here's my tape. All you need is tape and cable tires on a trip and you're good to go. My gloves, just why not? Toothbrush for cleaning the chain and whatnot. Random things. Here's a spare bulb, just in case. And then inside this pocket, we just got more Loctite and spare spark plugs and whatnot. So that's all that. So this is my Krieger toolkit that just rolls up. Uh, I've got rid of loads of stuff over the past 16 months. So it's pretty, uh, pretty bare now. So I can't do too much on the go, but as I found, there's always mechanics everywhere. So I've got all the stuff to do the basics. Um, this is pretty much all I need. And this is awesome. And then inside this little pocket, I've got this. I love this thing. The Motion Pro Trail Tool, this is amazing. And then this is the Motion Pro Bead Breaker. Absolutely love these two things. So you're probably thinking that I should have more stuff and like a full toolkit, but there's no point carrying extra weight, especially on this small bike. And this has got everything that I need to do. It's awesome. And this is my Montana Garmin GPS that I use, which is fantastic when you're going off-road. So I use this and my iPhone for Google Maps and Maps.me on the road. Perfect. All right. This left pannier is all my camping stuff. Everything I need. So when I pull over, I get open this pannier up, and everything I need for camping is in here. So that's that. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, everything comes in this bag. This is the sort of Turotec inner bag. So if I stop somewhere, I can easily just, with the handles, lift everything out, leave the boxes on, don't fuck around those, but then all the weight's gone. So the bike's super light, and I just put this somewhere, locked up somewhere, and go riding. So this is really handy as well, I love this. I wasn't sure if I needed these bags, but they've come in so, so handy. I guess now I should set up the tent. Okay, everything here is all the stuff I need for camping. I've removed my holes and my pegs from the lid of my left pannier. And this is everything, so let's put the tent up now. All right, let's do this. Still can't believe how small it is. This is my home. I've lost count of the amount of times I've done this. Past 16 months, and I still suck it. <laughs> I should have found a more sheltered spot for you to camp, shouldn't I? Okay, the tent is up. It took a little longer than planned because I couldn't get the pegs into the ground because uh, it's pretty much just rock all beneath this. So I've had to use large rocks, or small-ish rocks, um, to hold the, the guy ropes down. Uh, it's a lot easier when you're on grass and you can just stick the pegs in. Uh, so it's a bit of a floppy, flappy tent, waving in the wind because it's not completely tight, but it will do, that's it. So let me give you a quick show of what I've done. So here is the tent with the bike and the beautiful backdrop. Woo! So here's the uh, stone, stones, stones, more stones, more stones, and more stones. Okay, so we can undo the zip here. Then there's a little thing here that you can attach, hold the door open. Okay, for now I'm just gonna roll this up. Awesome. This is what it looks like inside. Okay, this is the tent inside. There's enough room in here for one person and loads of bags, or two people. You're small. And then on the other side, you can see out here, a little porch area for keeping shoes and other stuff you don't want to keep inside the tent. 
Okay, now the tent is up. Final things to do, get the air mattress inflated and in the tent and get some bag in as well. Then it's time to cook some food. Amazing how smooth it all is, right? It's awesome. So this here is my thermo rest. So, put that up. Inflate this. You put that in. Next, we'll get out the sleeping bag. So this is how small it is. This Seed Summit event compression sack is absolutely unbelievable. I bought these for like 15 pounds of Amazon. They're so cheap for what they do. Here we go. Here's the sleeping bag. Put that in. Okay, so today is freezing cold and really windy, but when it's really hot, like in the deserts of Iran or wherever you are in Africa, you can open up both sides of the tent. Like this. Ooh. All done. Tent is up, air mattress is inflated, sleeping bag is out and on. That's it. So let me show you what I've got. So. The Thermarest is the Neo Air X Lite Thermarest, the yellow one. And the seating bag is a Deuter, Deuter something, D E U T E R, I think, Trek Lite 200. And I picked it up in Iran for a few dollars and it is rubbish. It's great in the summer, in the winter, it's awful. Um, so, yeah, it probably goes down to like 15 degrees plus. That's like the coldest it goes down to. Um, so, I need to get a new ones. Uh, if anyone can recommend any good seating bags, please let me know. Or if there's any companies you would uh, send me a good seating bag. You know where to find me. So yeah, that is it. Oh, and the oh yeah, and the tent is the Terra Nova Laser Competition 2 tent. That is it. All right, that's it. Done. Sorted. Sweet. Ugh. Okay, time to pack down this awful, flappy, and saggy tent. It'd have been a lot easier on grass, but you have to make do with what you got. <laughs> All right, then. Three, two, one. This is always the hardest part, packing down. I'm trying to get everything back in again. Yes! It's also a lot harder as well when your hands are frozen. It's freezing. Absolutely freezing. Yes! One down, three or four to go. All right, let's do the tent next. Probably should clean my tent at some point. I've not actually ever cleaned it. Ever. Same as my bike, it's good as my bike and all my gear, my clothes and everything, it's all super dirty. Look at that, that's my house. My house! In the palm of my hand. <laughs> Ground sheet can go as well. Then, final one for the sleeping bag. And my leg is really hurting from that crash this morning I had. One day I'll have proper off-road biking lessons and learn how to ride properly once I finish my trip around the world. <laughs> That's everything. All done. Yes! The tent is all packed down. It's all away in the bike again. It was a lot easier packing it down than it was packing the tent up. Whew! That was good. All right. What's next? To end this video, here's a little clip of me waking up in my tent uh, in Albania in the middle of winter at the start of my adventure, um, being absolutely petrified because I can hear dogs barking outside my tent. Although in my defence, I did get woken up in the middle of the night surrounded by wolves, so yeah. Good morning. Here we are in the mountains in Albania. I'm just in my tent. I slept by a river last night.